Rated M for Mature. My name is John Garcia Shelton, and I'm the producer. One of the great things about the Griffin is how it's gonna break the expectations of the player. Most of the time, if you have a street scenario with cars or buses on it, people are gonna expect that Griffin just to kind of path around it. That's not how our Griffin behaves. It's a big creature. It's gonna bash through those cars. It's gonna throw aside the trucks. And it's gonna go right to the player, going through anything it wants to. That scale of creature and the destruction it can cause makes it a great creature to have in a game like Legendary. Steve Skelton, lead designer. One of the things that we're doing with scale in the environment and showing how the creatures relate to the environment and their relative size is in the case of the Griffin, he'll do things like swoop down and grab a hold of like a police car and pull it up into the air and fly off with it and fling it into you know a crowd of people or the side of a building or at you. So really kind of just underscoring the power of a creature of that size. Mark Marte, engineer. The Griffin AI is unique in that most games have biped style creatures. The Griffin's not a biped. It's a quadruped with gigantic wings. It doesn't fit in a little circle somewhere on the ground. It can use the air to get to places that you might not expect. So if you're fighting the griffin and walking backwards, you don't be surprised to find the griffin jumping behind you to engage you from behind, or that car that you think is cover suddenly ends up rolling over you. For the griffin air AI, we took a long time to generate a procedurally driven AI system. We use the pitch, the roll, the various velocities to generate different animations, and then we procedurally blended these together. So when the griffin begins to dive, it actually assumes a diving position. The wings come back, it looks like an eagle in flight. You're either used to fighting on the ground or fighting in the air. To have a creature where you have to deal with both, that really kind of throws a player and it's going to be a fun challenge. We went with two werewolves for the game because we really wanted this alpha apex predator werewolf. But we also wanted a more pack creature, which is the lemos werewolf. That alpha is an intense fight. That creature can take a lot of damage and it's strong. The lemos wolves kill you with numbers. Really having that difference between the creatures that use essentially the same AI structure but yet different behaviors within it that allows us to have a lot of depth with the werewolf creatures. Well, what makes the werewolf AI experience special is that they really kind of hunt their prey. They come at them with some slight attacks first to weaken you and set you off balance and then come in for the kill. Kevin Sharp, animation director. The werewolf is by far our most complex AI in the game. He utilizes every system that we've developed. He has an extremely aggressive ability to locomote. He goes on walls, on, on ceilings. He's a quadruped that transforms into a biped and back into a quadruped. Brad Fitzgerald, senior engineer. The biggest challenge for the werewolf AI was definitely the wall walking system. The animators went and they made this pre-visualization of wall walking and it was just gorgeous animation of a werewolf smoothly jumping from wall to wall, wall to the ground. And so having that common holodeck where we could all work, all make sure that the werewolf is moving smoothly, that was very important. The Alpha Werewolf AI has a notion of rage states and this quickly became apparent that we needed this on the werewolf. Because when you're fighting the werewolf, you don't want just it doing the same thing all the time. So when it first encounters the player, it's at a very low rage state. It decides it's going to hang back, it's going to throw objects at the player, it's kind of investigating its prey. It's not until you really start firing at it and laying into it until it gets pissed off. And it's in your face and it's just a non-stop onslaught. The coolest thing about the werewolf AI is what we call the CAT system, which is the choreographed attack system. And this is the way that allows creatures to kill humans in truly gruesome ways. Whether it's pulling their head off or ripping their body apart, seeing a scene where a human gets ripped to shreds is very satisfying.